and hopefully this is showing up oh yeah that is not supposed to look like that i'm twisting as i go so i just swept it here we go oh my god hey there groovy dudes and dudettes this is stomper be thomping and in this video i want to show you how easy it is to sweep your own chimney and clean it out of all the creosote buildup that occurs throughout the season so obviously that's a really important thing to do for for fire safety um, creosote builds up from the chemicals that are released through the burning of wood and it's like a tar like substance that builds up and collects on your chimney uh, flume and in, inside so like mine is round which i'll talk more about later but um, anytime that stuff builds up over time, it can become a fire hazard that you can get yourself a chimney fire. So uh, you're really supposed to clean them every year if you use them a lot, but you know, I clean mine like every two years or so. And uh, this one, she's a bit overdue as you will see once I grab the camera and give you a closer look. But yeah, chimney cleaning costs anywhere from hundred bucks to over $300. Per cleaning and if you have a complex setup and your chimney is extremely dirty then it can cost much much more than that so I am going to show you the simple materials I purchased from Amazon no affiliation with Amazon and um, just show you how simple it is to clean two major caveats I'll show you right now you can see that I'm leaning up right now against my chimney I got I'm straddling this little corner of the roof section my chimney is very easily accessible. That's caveat number one. If yours isn't, you know, consider hiring a company that has professional safety gear and insurance to protect themselves against that, against that stuff. Caveat number two, I have a straight pipe. My pipe goes straight down all the way to my fireplace. Once you start getting bends and turns, oh man, I can't help you there, you know? That's when you gotta start taking things apart and um, perhaps cleaning from the bottom and from the top can get a little sketchy. So um, uh, again, I'm gonna show you how dirty mine is here in a second and the cleaning process, which is insanely simple. But first I wanna show you this creosote removing material. So all the stuff I purchased happened to be from the company called Rutland. Here it is company called Rutland I got all this stuff on Amazon this is creosote remover it's a um, like a kind of like a gravelly powder type mixture this is intended to put on your fires as you have really hot embers and it will chemically interact with the creosote buildup and change it from a tar like substance into a more like powder substance that will essentially just fall down into your into your fireplace so you can clean it out how well does it work? I don't know. I just tried it for the first time the other day. And this chimney is still super dirty. So uh, I'll certainly give it another shot. Probably something I did wrong in the process, but here we go. Here is how easy it is to clean your chimney. But first, I'm gonna show you how dirty mine is. So bear with me while I grab the camera. Um, it helps to have a, an extremely powerful flashlight. Um, this one is small but powerful so all i did was i removed these four bolts and i took the cap of my chimney off and i've just got this pipe that's our chimney flume now i'm going to turn my little flashlight on and hopefully this is showing up oh yeah that is not supposed to look like that see how it's all textured that is a lot of creosote buildup. I'm sure many other people have seen a lot worse, but um, this is about as bad as I've seen mine, so time to clean it. So I always recommend using gloves with this kind of stuff because, well, it's just dirty and it'll get all over you. Um, first step, measure your chimney flume. Mine is circular and it's about eight inches around, so I bought the eight inch chimney sweeping brush. Now, when I first jammed it down in there, it was a bit too tight. So it was like really hard to move the brush up and down, which is probably by design, but um, it was just a bit too hard. So I took some snips and I cut just a few of these to make it a little bit easier to go 
in and out of the pipe. Then you buy these extension rods, Rutland fiberglass extension rods. Uh, they're about, what, three feet a piece. So I just, oh, that don't work like that. Nope, don't work like that either. Okay, what's going on here? Yes, it's right the first time. This is really, really simple. The hardest part is to just have patience and be thorough. You're gonna hear a lot of scraping. Here, I'll move you up. I'll move you up here. So all you do is you take your first three feet and you start scraping. I'm twisting as I go. So there's about the top two feet and come on in here and check this out this might be tough to see but notice no more texture i can see the smooth metal now oh, i hope it shows up on camera but about two feet down thick textured creosote tough to see tough to see but that's essentially it. When you run out of rod, you take another rod and you add it on and you just keep going down. Um, I hope your shoulders are in good shape because it's a bit of a workout, but I was working fast. I've been at this for all of three minutes and this chimney is swept clean. I'll try to show you, but we'll see. Here, take a look on in there. It's hard to see because there's a little bit of dust floating around still, but um, pure metal all the way down. Absolutely no textured creosote on the sides. That took me three minutes. Really, it just took longer to gather the materials and uh, take the top off, right? And now I've got to dismantle the big rod here, but look at these gloves too. These gloves were pretty clean prior to this, and I'm not exactly grabbing the flume or anything like that, so definitely wear gloves. But now, let's go to the bottom and see what happens when we open up the flume. So this uh, dark spot on the brick did not used to be there prior to sweeping it, but oh yeah, you can see there's a lot of creosote buildup in the back corners already. Like this log is covered in creosote powder back there all that ash used to be like white and that's covered in creosote powder so let's see what happens when i open up the flume for the first time so i just swept it here we go oh my god crap now i gotta clean all that up but yeah that's the stuff that can cause chimney fires so save yourself hundreds of dollars every season by buying a $50 sweeping kit and doing it yourself.